Welcome back everyone to Missions 101 where today we'll run the third penultimate pair of missions in the final set here. We have Horn, and I want to take both of Horn's missions today, which is a little bit different from my pattern for this particular set. We're going to run Raiders from Gundabad. My scouts have reported of a raiding party from Gundabad marches towards Scarhald. I am certain that the large raiding party seeks to attack our fortress in Arid Mithrin. We must depart for Scarhald immediately and assist in thwarting this raiding party. Oh, fun. It's another defense scar hauled one. And what do you need to do? A raiding party from Gunabad has been spotted approaching the fortress of Scarhald in Eridmithrin. No different than any other Gunabad raiding parties, this one seeks to slay all in their path. Your mission is to defend the fortress of Scarhald from a Gunabad party. Burning Shield is their little twist there, so let's avoid having that happen. Let's go and find out what's going on. Raiders from Gundabad. Yeah, there we have them. Let me make sure that, uh, no, it looks like the orc is here. Well, actually, there is an orc here first. And no, uh, that's not our final chest up there. That will be spawning in later. Closer to where we'll be finishing up, actually. So I won't have to worry about finding my way back. Scarhold is another one of those places where I've been known to get lost on occasion. There you go. Uh, we can deal with orcs, can't we? Well, I can deal with orcs. But can... Never mind. Are you, How are you doing? You're dead. Alright, good. That That's the way I like my orcs. There you go. Tactically... Sound immunity, whatever that means. Oh, okay, this one has the... Has the annoying... Heal. So, yes. Timed that one really poorly, but... I guess I'll just have to live with that. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. This next. Oh, there are two of them here. Hi there. You want to be first to die or last to die? That doesn't matter. You'll die anyway. It looks like he also has raging. And finally. Oh, he didn't live long enough in order to do that. Now comes the nasty bit. And that is here. Where you need to hold this place. I think it is until... Everybody has had a chance to kill you. <laughs> Except, of course, at 1.30 it seems to be worse because... Look at this. The first wave includes... Two healers. And that's all it. Two. Is it, they're both signatures, are they? No, that one's normal. No, no, that one's signature. But this one's normal. Ah. Oh, actually, he has a annoying. Uh, it looks like he was trying to raise the dead or something like that. But you have all these defilers in here in the 130 version of this. I have not seen these defilers in any time I've done this at a lower level. And this really makes the whole thing... I think what they do is they essentially add defilers to whatever is in the lower level version. What I don't know... is if it's at what level you start getting these extra mobs, whether it only happens at 130, is it something that can happen at... Oh, there you go. Ooh. So I don't know if it's only 130 or if it has a specific level that's lower than 130. I don't think it's cap related because I don't recall seeing these at level 
95 on Anor, which is level cat. No. No, 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 okay. Ah. Stop the healing! Not another one! This is what's so annoying! Really? Yeah, I... I can't afford to go off of him now. And I can't afford not to go off of him. They're just, just spamming heals, and if you... And if you stop all the... And if you do everything you can to stop that, then... Oh, come on! Stop it! <sighs> oh, finally! Oh, that is... Oh, okay, actually, this is the boss. Actually, he's... That's right, he's just a worst of fire. You do get the boss in all of them, regardless. So, he, you only get... Because this is the only defile I remember in the... In the lower levels. I guess I should realize he did look a little bit bigger than the other defilers. As you see, I don't like... I don't like defilers all that much, as you can guess there. Whew. Well then... I got through it, somehow. But anyway, look at this. This guy just runs right through the last couple of enemies that you're fighting before he gets here. All right. Ah, great work, Pineleaf. Ooh, it's a Gunabad raiding party defeated. Let's return to report your success. You call that success? Oh, I thought it was just complaining. Let's go. That was a nuisance. Well done! With the raiding party defeated, Scarhalt is once again safe. The last thing we need is our greatest fortress of Eridmithrin in ruins. As if it weren't in ruins to start with. Alright, what's next? Under command of trolls. Yes! The abandoned mine Sundagrot has been overrun with goblins. But that's not all. It appears Gorgar has sent his trolls to keep them in line. I bet if you defeat them, the goblins will quickly become disorganized and perhaps even flee on their own. Take out the trolls and our forces can reclaim the mines. You're not serious. Oh, okay, I'll take out the trolls, but you really seriously think those goblins are going to go away? I don't think so. Just saying, I don't think so. And of course, the trolls have crushing. The abandoned mines of Sundagrod still hold valuable ore and treasures ripe for the taking. However, goblin intruders stand in your way. Right. Let's go. Under command of trolls, and as usual, here we've got one. Actually, I think there are only a couple that go this way. There are some other places in Sundagrod for some of the others. But we had, this is one of the ones that goes up, down, or to the right. Now, one of the trolls is right down to the right. So even though the one where you're looking for the treasure chest... Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I saw that. I saw the sentry just in time. So let us uh, deal with the sentry. Doggy, 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 doggy. You lost your poodle or something? Now... Troll Crusher. And I'm gonna get ready to stop the crush. Now I'm putting my backs to the wall, which I guess I don't. I know that the trolls sometimes like to punt you. And of course, when you're being punted, the last thing, ouch. Last thing you wanna do is be staying in any place that might be. Down a big hole, which is pretty much what Sundagrot is like. There you go. That's the first bit over there. Now we'll go down this way. Quack! And take care of the sentry. And 
once we deal with the sentry oh actually I just remembered we got a little bit of a problem here where there's a potential for a sapper on the right and I want to and I've had occasions where the sapper will just ambush me if I'm not careful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to ambush the sapper instead. Yeah. All right, now I'll take care of this one. Then I could have the battle against the sapper. Figure that's the best way of handling that. Make sure I don't get that fire thrown on top of me, because from earlier runs, you know how much I get annoyed by these sappers. Alright, there you go. Now I can continue on down. And inevitably there will be another sentry right here. There you go. Found it! Now the second troll is right up there, as if that isn't obvious. But to get to the troll, I'm going to have to go through a few sappers, as you can see. Because there's one right here. There's a drudge right there. Take care of the drudge first. Actually, there are two drudges there. I think it would be easier if I take care of them first, and I won't have to worry about a ultra difficult shot I do have to t make sure I don't get stunned as a result of this All right, now the drudge probably the best thing to do is to ambush and start tossing javelin so that he drops the thing. Because it looks like they like to drop the bomb if they if they're being hit. Now this one. So I guess the more damage maybe it's a certain damage threshold or something like that. So I don't know if it's number of hits or if it's the amount of damage they take. Now the the troll. Well, I prefer to fight the troll in that room because I don't punting as I mentioned before and I don't like being punted over nasty places. So I will instead just Oh, 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 I thought I switched back. Okay, never mind. So let's get back into melee stance and burn down this troll. And then supposedly the goblins will leave if, if we do this. Yeah, like they leave Goblin Town every time I kill the Great Goblin. Seems like whenever you kill the Great Goblin, what happens we get another Great Goblin. Syndicroth can almost be called Goblin Town 2. Alright, that takes care of the one in this direction. Now, the next three trolls, I believe, are on the up path. So we will take a U turn here and head down the third way at. Oh, yeah. Centuries. Because we've got goblins. We need to make things annoying. It's what goblins do. They're very talented at making things annoying. Or at least that's the impression I get. I, I'm trying to think. What is the nasty around here? I don't think there's a sapper. At least not yet. But of course, there will be inevitably be a 
Where are those scouts are called? Sentries! Sentries, yes. There will, of course, be a sentry somewhere around here because whenever you're on a bridge, a sentry is sure to be because... You can imagine. Have, now, how a sentry hides on a bridge like this, don't ask me. I mean, that's a bit improbable if you ask me. But that's just my opinion. All right, there's that one. I thought there was another one, which is why I wasn't already preparing my ambush. I was pretty sure there was another sentry to go. I keep on forgetting exactly where it is relative to this troll. And as you can see here, this is one of those missions where all the trolls seem to be always at the same spot. It's not like another one we did where, where the trolls have different locations depending on the run you're doing. But this time, yes, we are going to have trolls, trolls, and more trolls. Actually, there are only two more after this, right? Yeah, we're at halftime with trolls. Uh, we are, I think, going down. Oh, actually, going up this way. So it's, let's see, both. Oh, that's right, it's an upward path. I keep on forgetting that this is the upward path once I start taking it. But yes, I did say it was an upward path at the way at the beginning, but no, I don't remember that once I take it. Or once I go around killing trolls. Now, here are things. Now, we're at this location of the fourth troll, so let us. take care of that and deal with a sapper first yeah see what he, how nice of him to throw the fire at a location that is not going to inconvenience me in any way now I wish to say that was the last sapper but unfortunately that is not the case All right. there you go I reached the threshold just in time. Now, here is troll number four. This time, remembering to enter into melee stance. Find a good place where I can put my back against the wall and... Whee! Oh. I don't know what happened to that. I thought I had something queued up there, but apparently not. Well then, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't know why I thought I had anything all ready for there, because it sounds like it would be unlikely for that to be the case, but that's another matter. Right, you are down. Right, that's the fourth troll, and there's one more down, I think, down in that direction. That's the bit I always forget about, because in the... One where you're finding the keys, this is the location, I think, of the key that you're trying to grab in this in this way. Okay, now there is a sapper right there. Hmm. See, now it goes down after this. I think what I'm going to have to do is... Go into stealth mode. Now, unfortunately, that's that's the reason why I don't like. No, stop it! Is they have this thing where they just push you away for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And I, th and I think there is no good way of avoiding that one. Maybe there could be a good place. I Maybe I should have just snuck by them or something like that. That might have been a good idea. And not even worried about trying this combat. I mean, I was going into careful step anyway, so it's not like careful step was not available since the plan I put in used careful step anyway. So maybe I should have just gone by them. 
may be having to pick them up on the other direction perhaps in returning at the end oh ho, ho, I saw yeah now what really surprises me in all of this is that I was expecting Now, I was expecting this to be a long one, but I didn't expect this to be longer than the one where I was toppling the towers. I thought that this was the third longest one of this set. And it was going to be a toss-up between the tower one and the one that we're going to be finishing up the next actually I guess starting the next episode with is going to be the longest was expecting that to be the longest one I, I just don't know if that's going to be the case or not but this one is actually yeah significantly longer than I expected well fortunately the the battle one when defending Scarhall despite being just as, ignoring, as annoying as I expected, wasn't as long as I was expected. So I think I got the balance right anyway. Hmm. I paired them off properly so that they're all coming out to be about 20 minute long episodes, I think. A shorter one and a longer one. I just thought that this one, that this was a pair of more medium sized ones. Actually, he doesn't go all the way down. I think he's. Actually, no, he does go back to the beginning. Never mind. Right, we're at the beginning. Yes, let's return. Yes, let's do so. We're back. No trolls. Well done. With their troll drivers defeated, these cowardly goblins are likely to flee the mines. Don't bet on it. But what I can bet on is that we have only two more missions in the War of Three Peaks mission set. And we'll do those in the next episode of Missions 101.